Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to download your own weather data. So when you follow the link in D2L, you'll get to this page. It might look a little different for you since it's your first time here, but the steps are the same. So first, enter a location you might like to get weather data from. I'm going to try Portland, Maine. And then the daily set we want is the daily summaries. And then you'll select your date range. Here I have selected from the, year, the start of the year 2000 to Jan, the first of the year. Um, and then the most recent date that they have data for is 2019, September uh, 21. So we can click apply to that. Oh, must click on a data select. Okay. Then we can apply. And that'll populate your map over here with all the possible stations. You can see there's quite a lot of them. If I just click on one of these, you can get the information. So this one only had 31% coverage, which is not very good, but it's also only been around since the middle of 2010. So that's probably not the one we want. So let's try another one. This one looks a little better. It has 100% coverage. It's only been around since 2009. So let's try this one. This one looks good. Now this is the Portland jet port, which I assume is like an airport. 100% uh, coverage, been around since the 1940s. So that is going to be my pick, even though I don't need data back that far. So you click add to cart and your cart is up here. Notice it says free data. You won't have to pay for anything for this. And so when you click on that, your next one is choose the output format. You do not want the PDF. You want the CSV. The CSV is the one that Excel is going to open the best. You don't want a text file. That's just a pain in the butt. So then you select your date range. Um, for some reason, I have to select it again. Sometimes it carries over, but whatever. So we select that, got that. Oh, it only goes up to the 20th this time. Either way, we click apply and now we'll continue. Here, since we selected that custom CSV, we get to select what data we want. So the station name will be nice. You can put in the geographic location if you want, which will probably just say Maine or something. The data flags, I don't think you need. Units, make sure this says standard. If you use metric units, it's not actually going to tell you that in the data set. And it's just going to, I mean, you can tell because, you know, the temperatures will be like 20s and 10s all the time instead of, you know, 30s to 80s. But then come down here and select what you want. For precipitation, you definitely want this one. It says PRCP. That just means rain. You can also get snow depth and snowfall. Sometimes that is not as available in our data. But you can click on it if you think you might want to look at it. Sunshine, I have never looked at. You can try it if you want. Air temperature, you definitely want maximum and minimum, but you can go ahead and collect all of those if you want. And you can browse to the other ones. Water equivalent of snow on the ground, a lot of wind information, other weather type data. But you definitely want to make sure you get this precipitation and the max and min temperature. Now click continue, and it'll give you a chance to review your order and enter your email address. So, ah. BR stats class at gmail.com is the one I'm using. And you can have it remember your email address if you'd like. Click submit order. And there you go. So now it's going to email you a link. So go in your email here. I did this earlier. You can see that's the one I just submitted. The one I did earlier, just a few minutes ago, was at 1026 a.m. And the reply was at 1027, so it only takes a minute, maybe five minutes at the most, to complete your order. So if I click on the one I did earlier, I can go here, it says download, and I click that, and depending on what browser you're using, it might come up differently, but in Google Chrome, it comes up right down here. Now, if I click this arrow and show in folder, it'll bring up another folder which is not being recorded right now, but uh, that's the subject of the next video, is opening your data set and summarizing it into the, the month that you've chosen. And I will see you all there.